Listen, thing. there is no legal issue here, so the only thing we're dealing with are your emotional issues. I'd roll the window up if I was you, and I'd call your sergeant, I'd call a lieutenant and double check. Do yourself a favor, because you're making a mistake. These two men are Jason from Amagansett Press and Ben of Watching the Watchmen. This most respectable father and son duo started auditing because many of our rights and civil liberties as American citizens are at a great risk and they are aware that simple acts of civil disobedience have the power to affect great change. Not only that, but Ben specifically is wearing an In-N-Out Burger t-shirt, the best burger in America. This is a hill I am willing to die on. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong. Their goal is to create a free and open discussion whenever possible in an effort to educate both themselves and anyone with a desire to learn. And with a combined 200,000 subscribers and over 30 million views, they've been able to reach out to a great deal of people. If you haven't heard of them, check out their channel links below and subscribe. They also have a GoFundMe that helps them do what they do. Today's story covers First Amendment rights, police harassment, and yard sales laws for East Hampton, New York. Jason and his wife, along with Ben, were hosting a yard sale. In their city, it is unlawful for a person or persons to conduct a garage sale without first obtaining a license and complying with the regulations set forth. The family obtained their permit and began setting up items to be sold just prior to 9 a.m. Chapter 167-3, subsection B states that garage sales shall not commence before 9 a.m. At about 8.50 a.m., an East Hampton police sergeant arrived and the following interaction ensued. He told you about the sign yet? I don't care if you film me, is it? He told you about the sign, yes? He told me about the sign. Okay. Yes. The second thing is you can't start a yard sale till 9 a.m., okay? And that means you're in violation right now by allowing these people to even come onto your property. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is, actually. I took my watch it's off. 10 to, 10 to 9, but I watched people come down here 10 to 15 minutes ago, so now we're starting 20, 30 minutes early. Well, you can't start a yard sale. I don't, and I don't want to bust chops, but I'm telling you, you're violating the, the rules. That you, here, bud, come out the road. You're violating the rules. You've you got to start putting this stuff out before I get it, but you can't allow so. people to start shopping before then. No, no, but I haven't sold any of them. What's, what's you, got people, you got people staying on your property. I don't know what they're doing. They, they, they just all I know up. they're stopping, all yep. right? All right. Would that not reasonably make me think that they're shopping if they're on your property, walking around picking up items? Yes, Sergeant Bartleby, whatever you got to do, my friend. I don't got to do anything. I got to ask you to follow the rules that you agreed to by signing the permit, yes? Okay. That's all. Well, okay? I haven't sold anything yet. <laughs> okay. And I can't stop Wait. people from stopping yet. Wait until what do you want me to do? Just yell at people and tell them to keep moving? I want you to wait until 9 o'clock and then start allowing. The All right, but how do I stop them from stopping? You just said because they're stopping. I haven't sold them. I haven't sold them. Listen, though, yard sale doesn't start till 9. So I got to tell people go away and come back at night. Is what you're telling me. I say go away. You say my, yell, my sale does not start till 9. That's okay. all. All right. Well, and the sign that you have. You, you listen, we're, we're talking about 10 minutes. Why, all right? why don't you just listen to me for a second? I, I've and heard let me you. explain I've the rules. You're not just explain. First of all, I know the rules. Second you don't, of all, because you're violating two of them right off the bat. That huge sign yet on the back of your truck was a major violation. I just, of the I just spoke okay. to Teddy, and that's, that's a violation. Moved. And the starting okay. before 9 a.m. is a violation. That's good. You know a major the violation. I mean, come on, man. These are yard sales. At this point, the sergeant is advising Jason and Ben that they cannot sell anything until 9 a.m. He also took issue with their signage. Chapter 167-3, subsection D, states that no sign shall be placed on the public right-of-way or on property other than where the sale is being conducted. Not only that, but the sign must not be greater in size than two feet by two feet. In an effort to direct traffic from the main roads to their sale, the family constructed a two-by-two -two sign and in full compliance with the law and their First Amendment rights, stood at an intersection, holding the sign to advertise their sale. The sign was never posted or left unattended, but it still prompted multiple responses from the police department. So here is the sign that my wife was holding. Here's a full view of the intersection. I gave her a little break now. She's going to hang out by the house and uh, oversee the yard sale. So I'm going to be standing out here with my sign. And I challenge these guys to come out here and tell me that I can't. And that is exactly what they did. <clears throat> yes, sir. You have your uh, yard sale permit posted at your house, right? I'm asking you. What are we talking about? I'm addressing the fact that your wife has a sign. She's holding it. I understand that. If you look at the application or your permit for your yard sale. You can only have a sign posted on your property two by two. Yes, right. you're right. She's holding a sign. Right. It's a yard sale sign for your permit. Doesn't for, make a difference. Do what you gotta do. I challenge you. Right. Just she could stand there and hold a sign that says the police. 
well, that, so she could certainly stay in there and hold the sign. You're, you're right. That, that's very rude, though. I don't care. You're very rude. This is the third visit I've had from the police department today. Today? So I suggest you get back in your car All and right, leave. Well, Otherwise, you're going to be the victim of a lawsuit. This which is, is the gonna first be time harassment. that I've seen it. Have a nice day, Walker. You behave yourself. Mr. Go out there and find something better to do. Good luck with your yard sale, Mr. Gutterman. Yeah, you, you get back in your car and kick rocks and get the hell out of here. You don't really have to be rude. Goodbye. You're dismissed. You don't tell now me you're what to pissing do. me off. You're dismissed. That's okay. You're, no, it's not. You're okay. entitled to your opinion. You work for me, buddy. Remember that. Don't forget it. Yeah, okay. Get back yes, in your sir. car and kick rocks. You're, you're dismissed. Right. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to you too. Goodbye. Get in your car okay. and leave. Okay. Get in your car and leave. You want to stay in here? What is your ego keeping you? <laughs> no. Now you have no legal no. issues, so you have a mental issue. No, I don't. Yes. You don't need to insult me. There's I'm, no I don't give a shit about insulting you. You're insulting yourself by standing here acting like a jack. I'm having a yard sale. You're, you're very, very rude. No, I'm not very, very yeah, rude. You you're obnoxious. I'm not insulting Listen, you. there is no legal issue here, so the only thing we're dealing with are your emotional issues. Yeah. If your ego is not going to let you get back in the car and leave, that's your problem. I'm telling you to get in your car and leave. Have a nice day. You too, sir. And nobody's taking the sign down. She's going to stand she, here with well, that she, sign. She, she, she walked away. She's so. going to, because she's right. smarter than you are. Thank you. She's probably you smarter than both of us. Okay, so she's going to be right back out here with the sign, and there's not a goddamn thing you're going to do about it. How about that? Get in your car and have a nice day. Can you day. cross me across the street? Get in your car. You want to be a nice guy and cro help me cross the street? Absolutely not. No? Even after figuring out a way to legally advertise their yard sale, the department continued to send officers to the house to harass and attempt to enforce laws that no one was breaking. But you can't hold that yard sale sign like that. Sure I can. No, you can't. Yeah, absolutely can. Yeah. I challenge you on that. Huh? I challenge you on that. You don't have a permit for it. I don't have to have a permit. Sure you do. No, First Amendment protected activity. It's no, my right. You cannot you convert. And your, you and your First Amendment stuff is... You swore correct. an oath to it, buddy, so Absolutely. I would take it a little more seriously if Absolutely. I was you. Okay, and if you want to try to convert a constitutionally protected activity into a crime, good luck to you. Show me the village code that says sure, I can't I hold the sign. right now. Yeah, go ahead. I will. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. There's no such thing. Sure there is. No, there's not. Right Did now. you swear an oath to the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution that you say you've had enough of hearing me talk about? Huh? Is that what you did? You recite that oath every day? Sure. What are you doing harassing people having a yard sale, man? You got I'm so much harassed. to say. Yeah, of course you are. You're the fourth police officer to be here today for a yard sale. I have a permit. So, so because I got to, that's part of my job. Go around. Who complained? Sure that Who complained? Who complained? Being... Your sergeant. Nobody complained. Bartleby sending you is down here to harass me in retribution. Qualified immunity should be a very precious thing to you. You obviously don't care about it. And you're going to lose it. No shine shall be displayed unless... This sign is not posted. This sign is being held in my hands. Get the law right, bro. Figure it out. Yeah, so why don't you just take a ride down the road? Nobody's putting the sign away. I'm going to stand out here with the sign until you either arrest me, write your ticket, or do whatever you're going to do. You want to write the ticket, write the ticket, bro. Otherwise, kick rocks. I don't give a damn what you do. Nope. You know who I am. I don't have my license on me. We're in New York. I don't need to have a license on me. Figure it out. You know, either you're supposed to carry your ID. No, you're not. No, you see another bull thing you just said. In New York State, you are not obligated to carry ID. You're wrong, unless I'm in a motor vehicle operating it. Write me a ticket for not having my license on me. I dare you. I challenge you, bro. Go ahead. I'm not going to do that. No, I want I'm you to. I invite like you that, to. Right, guy? You're writing me a ticket for standing here with yeah. this sign. Yeah, knock yourself out. Because you said that you said I couldn't find the section. I yeah. the section. Write it up, bro, and I'll go in and have it thrown yeah, out. And then I'm going to sue your ass for harassment. Knock yourself out. Right. Keep it up. It's not harassment. Keep it up. Yes, it is. It's total harassment. You didn't read it again before you start writing, so you're sure what you're writing, dude. You're talking about a sign that is posted in the ground, not a sign that's being carried in my hands. You might want to check with your sergeant before you do that, because you're going to be making a big mistake. No. I'd roll the window up if I was you, and I'd call your sergeant. I'd call a lieutenant and double check. No. Do yourself a favor, because you're making a mistake. Yep. No. Unless your ego is going to run the show for you again today. Yep. I, I would double check. Double check, triple check. I will. Dot your eyes, cross your, cross your T's, bro. Make sure. Okay. Yep. Because I do know the law, and I know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't tell me I can't hold the sign on the side of the road. Absolutely not, bro. Constitutionally protected activity, no matter how badly you don't want to hear about it. People are a joke. Absolute joke, man. All right. Yeah, all right. You have a nice day, then. Yeah, you have a nice day, too. I will. My day's going to be great. And from one human being to another, stay safe out there, bro. You too. Yeah.
In the end, no citations were issued and they were allowed by the state to sell their own property. I urge you again to subscribe to both channels featured here and to go check out their GoFundMe. Amagansett Press and Watching the Watchmen do fantastic work. They are some of the most professional First Amendment auditors I have yet to see. Jason ends the video series with the following message. No ticket, no citation, no nothing. Stand up for your rights, people. Don't let these guys f you around, because that's all they want to do. Intimidation and bullying, that's all they know how to do. He's not writing me a citation for anything, and he's lucky I stopped him. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction, and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.